This is Plato to Plato, showing you how to become your child's best reading tutor. My name is Malia, and in this video, we're going to check whether the pictures and the words match. This strategy is going to help your child when he's reading later. He'll actually be able to look at the length of the word and check the first letter of the word to see if his guesses about what that word might be make sense. Now, for this example, I'm going to use a book called The Barnyard Dance. You may have read it before with your child. I've gone through this book before recording the video and I've covered a couple of the words up with post-its. Now you're going to notice that the post-its are different sizes. This post-it over here is longer than the post-it over here. I've done that purposefully because this word that's being covered up is a longer word than the word over here. You'll also notice that the words I covered up are important words from that page. They're words that our child can guess by just looking at the picture below it. So I'm not covering up the word to or the word the because those words are really not important to the story. Let's go ahead and look at what I'm going to do to help my child figure out what these mystery words are. The first thing I want to do is read the words in the book. Bow to the blank. Hmm. I wonder what that word might be. Well, let's see what clues we can gather. I see that the post-it note is really long, so it must be a long word. Hmm, a long word. I know that the picture has to match the mystery word because pictures in books usually match the words that are written. So let me see if I can find any clues by looking at the pictures. I see a pig, pig, but pig is not a very long word. Horse, horse is a long word. Maybe the word is horse. Bow to the horse, that would make sense. Let's move the post it over so that just the first letter of that word is showing. Now, I have to tell you, I'm really bad at doing this without blowing the whole word, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the book just so that it's facing me, and I won't give away what the rest of the letters are. Now we see what the first letter is, it's an H. Bow to the, <sighs> bow to the horse, it has to be horse, pig does not start with the huh sound, so it must be horse. Horse is a long word, and it starts with an H. We're gonna move over to this page. Twirl with the blank if you know how. Well, I see it's a short word because it's a short post-it. Twirl with the pig. Pig is short, maybe it's pig. Twirl with the sheep. Sheep is kind of short, it could be sheep. Let's look at the first letter of that word and see what, what letter we see. Twirl with the p, 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 pig and sheep. Sheep does not start with the p sound. It must be pig. Pig is short and it starts with the p, 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 p. Twirl with the pig. It is pig if you know how. Now remember, when you're teaching your child this strategy, you wanna focus on a couple of things. You wanna focus on the length of the word that they're trying to figure out. You want to reinforce that they should look at the first letter of that word and you want them to make sure that the picture matches the word that they're trying to guess. Try this at home, have fun with it, and I'll catch you back here next time on Plato to Plato.